Surveillance video from Polito's Mexican restaurant in McAllen shows someone taking Juan Janicano's campaign sign Sunday afternoon. The restaurant owner and supporter of Cano called him right away to see if this person picking up the sign was with his campaign, soon realizing they were not. They noticed that it wasn't. It wasn't somebody that I, that I had sent or, any, or anybody. They called me right away because they saw uh, when they opened up the latch in the back of the vehicle, they saw several, several of my signs. And Johnny says this isn't the first time someone has stolen his sign, but this time they had cameras watching. When Gano arrived to the restaurant, he says several eyewitnesses spoke out and he filed a police report. It's a female that uh, got off from one of the, uh, the white uh, Tahoe, it's a recent model, and that she grabbed uh, one of my, my signs. An online post is now circulating with the caption, could this be Marco Suarez? Suarez is currently running for re-election on the McAllen ISD school board, a position Gano hopes to take. You know that tampering and taking signs is a crime? No doubt. In fact, four years ago, um, when I was running, I had to go to the police station and pick up a lot of signs that were picked up. Marco Suarez says he had nothing to do with Sunday's incident and has home surveillance video to prove that his white Tahoe was parked in the driveway. My vehicle was parked actually from 1.40 to 6 o'clock in the evening without even being moved. Gano says regardless of who took the signs, he wants to let them know their actions do not represent his campaign. Reporting in McAllen with complete Valley coverage, Clara Benitez, CBS4 Valley Tonight. Marco Suarez has filed a false allegation police report. The incident is still under investigation.